All right, hi Angela. This is uh, front of the house. Now it's kind of in a cul-de-sac, not exactly, but there's a dead end right here, big wooded area. I'd like to get on uh, Google Earth, turn it on satellite view and see how large that little wooded area is. Find out if there's anything gonna be built there in any time. So obviously we've got the right garage over here on the right. Front door there. Over on this side of the house is where the electrical uh, breaker is. The sign says beware of the dog, but I haven't heard one barking. The roof looks like it's in decent shape. A little ripple right there looks like a section was probably replaced. Like right there, there's like a square. You can see the coloration difference. Looks like something was replaced. But even still, overall it looks okay. That ridge vent at the top looks like it's been bent. Probably somebody stood on it when they were installing something. <clears throat> you can't see it from here, but there's a, a cable. It looks like a coax cable for a satellite dish. <clears throat> it goes over the back side of the roof. It may have been when they were installing that. <clears throat> so here's our little entryway. Sort of like a miniature covered front porch. Got a little space to hang some stuff. This is clever. All right, it's coming in, we've got a tiled entryway. The right here, this is probably meant by the builder to be a uh, formal dining room. <clears throat> Excuse me. And on this side over here, we have what could be considered an office or a bedroom. It's currently set up as an office. Uh, all the carpet in the house is <clears throat> This Berber style, uh, some of it's damaged. Doesn't look great. I thought it turned the light on in here. Nice size closet. A bench seat windowsill. All right, so here's the living room. Plenty of space to put a big old sectional in here. <clears throat> that is a good size couch. All right, so a little breakfast bar here, breakfast nook, nice little island. The house is packed for gas. does have a uh, garbage disposal. I accidentally turned it on trying to get the lights on. <laughs> uh, here's one. That's a nice part of this house. It is Obviously this is the utility room, but to the right we've got a very large pantry. These uh, tiles, just for measurement's sake, are probably about 16 or 17 inches across. So that should give you an idea how big this is. You can count them. <laughs> And over here, we've got the garage set up with a couple canoes, kayaks, whatever. Plenty of space in here for two cars. Does have a garage door opener. Hopefully they'll leave that tool rack there. If you do see anything in this house that's not <clears throat> like a fixture or something that's really attached to it, but you want it. If you want it, let me know, because if it's not in the contract, you won't get it. Like the refrigerator, for example. If you want the refrigerator, we've got to put it in the paperwork. I haven't seen a picture frame molding and chair molding in a kitchen like this before, but it looks decent. Here's some of the damage to the carpet I was mentioning earlier. And uh, even though it doesn't look all great, at least if you were going to change it, you'd be able to get whatever you wanted instead of, you know, the alternative, buying a house that already has decent carpet, but maybe it's not the color you would have chosen. So here we've got the master bedroom. Ceilings are fairly high. Plenty of room. Unusual paint color choice. Let's take a look at the closet real quick. It's decent size. 
little built-in uh, shoe rack over here and another one over here those are always nice and here's the master bathroom nice little vanity set up here So, the other bedrooms are over down this hall. We've got a little coat closet here. Fancy looking thermostat. There's your attic access. Oh, if you do end up buying this house, I'd recommend insulating this access door. It's not insulated. <clears throat> Probably save you some money on your electric bill. Here's our first bedroom. It's obviously set up for a little girl. Nice little built-in bookshelf here. I like that. I might actually build one of these myself. That's nice. Nice little closet. to be set up for a little boy. Sorry, it's hard to get the whole room without a wide angle lens. And this one has a little bit of a smaller closet than the other one. But it looks like it goes in a little ways. Oh, it goes in pretty far. There's no light in here, so it's hard to tell you, but I'd say it's probably about twice as wide as the actual door jam. So about, you know, halfway that distance from there to there, it's that far in. And same thing on the other side. Oh, and there's like sort of a nook back here. Hard to tell. All right, moving on. We've got the second bathroom over here. Um, for reference sake, these tiles look to be about six inches. Fiberglass shower tub, or plastic, probably fiberglass though. Okay, and moving on, we got the backyard. Now this is one of those doors with the blinds that adjusted this little thing. I like those. I accidentally hit one of those buttons and stopped my recording. So we've got this, uh, I don't know what you call these, they're not exactly tiles, but uh, pseudo tile back porch. It's got a little step. This first one's a little higher up than the rest of it. And I've got this little playground thing. Uh, the listing information said the air conditioner was brand new and that compressor looks brand new to me. See if it says a sear rating on here. I don't see it. Well, the serial number starts with 17, and sometimes these companies, whatever the first two numbers on that serial number are, represents a sear rating. Although 17 sears overkill, I'd be shocked if it was really that high that if this means anything to you Let's see if it says the sear rating on here efficiency rating oh sir so 14 to 15 the biggest <laughs> digits on there other than the main ones so 14 to 15 that's pretty good the, in Texas, last time I heard, and the standards may have changed, but last time I heard, uh, builders who are building new houses are required to do at least a 13 sear. Of course, it may have changed. It may be 14 now, but last time I heard it was 13. So you see that cable right there running down that ridge? I don't see the satellite dish, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. If I follow the cable down, it goes into the wall there. If you remember, in the living room, 
that's where the TV is. You can see the cable coming out back there. So, no grass really, except for in this little spot over here. We got a lot of shade. Got a little plastic storage shed back here. And let's see if I can show you this. You can't really reach or access that back part of the backyard there unless you can fit through here. Now, I'm a pretty skidding guy. I, I could fit through there. But if I were any bigger at all, I wouldn't fit. I'd have to go sideways. Um, just one more thing I noticed, which is nice. The whole house has gutters. It's not, inter not terribly common nowadays for an entire house to have gutters. They don't cost that much, but a lot of builders are... You know, that's one of the, the corners they like to cut. It's not doing gutters. So that's it. Um, I can tell you the house does not have uh, any kind of a funny smell. Uh, it is really nice and cool in here. It feels like the AC is working great. Um, I didn't see any major damage to anything. There is a little bit of a what looks to be water damage right here, but it really looks like it's just the paint that was damaged and I don't see any corresponding damage to the carpet. And what I think that's from is the uh, air conditioner uh, overflow drain line. It's this little tube sticking out right here. So if you imagine that thing, if there was a problem with the AC, which they've got a new one, so there probably was a problem with their AC recently, uh, a, lo a lot of the AC problems that happen will cause that thing to start leaking water and it's just a constant drip and if it lasts for three or four weeks constantly dripping what you end up with is water landing on the ground right here splashing up all over that wall and after weeks after weeks of it it works its way over to the door jam and you can tell by looking at this wall there's a slight discoloration right underneath that window which I speculate is from an overflowing AC line so uh, the, the point of saying all that is just that this water damage down here, what caused it, I think is probably gone. So I don't expect that to be an ongoing issue. Of course, I'm not an inspector. And if you hire one to inspect this house, he may tell you something different. And if it's different than what I said, I would tell you, um, you should go with what he says. Cause like I said, I'm not an inspector. Okay. Well, let me know if you have any questions. Oh, that's nice. This is a vent for this microwave. That way, if you turn the vent on, instead of it blowing all the smoke right back into the kitchen, it'll blow it outside. So, yeah, if you have any other questions about this place, please let me know. I will make every effort to get you a good answer. Or, you know, the right answer. Let's see, gotta turn all these lights off. All right, well, thanks a lot. Let me know what you think.